Goose Bay Air Base, a remote outpost on Canada's east coast. British aviation enthusiast Harry O'Done returns to rescue this rare aircraft he had to abandon here five years ago. The Ferry Gannet was developed for the Royal Navy so Britain could hunt down and attack Soviet submarines during the Cold War. Back in 2004, Harry encouraged Shannon Hendricks, an American with a shared passion for flying, to buy the rare plane. Shannon wants Harry to transport the aircraft to her home hangar in New Richmond, Wisconsin. So the best option is to fold her unique wings up, load her into a cargo aircraft, and fly her to America. There's only one cargo aircraft big enough to swallow the eight-ton ferry gannet hull. The Russian Antonov 124. The Antonov arrives in just 20 hours. Harry enlists the help of engineer Randy Ames to prepare the ferry gannet for the move. Oh, there she is. <laughs> that is pretty, really a work of art. There's only one problem. They've realized that even with her wings folded, the ferry gannet is just too big to fit into the Antonov's hold. The ferry gannet's wings are not meant for quick release. Randy must disconnect two complex hinges. And now we're going to disconnect the top control arm for the wing lift. I'm ready when you are. OK. Whoa, something's happening. There you are. I'm out. Uh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. OK. That's what we need. Holding up the wing panel are just two pins inside two hinges. Harry's worried that when they remove the first pin, the second hinge could twist and damage the fragile wing. I think it would be easier to pick it with our de-icing truck there, take it up right off the aircraft. All right, OK. What we're going to do is we're going to run a sling through the back of the aileron and then underneath the wing, and then hopefully we'd lift the wing off in one clean pull. Get the lift point between those two screw heads. That's where the center of gravity is there, right on that button. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's it. Right, it's taken the strain. Up, up. Ooh. Got it. Wiggle. Okay, it's all yours. Take it up a bit. Let's go. Swing her out. Down. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the wing touches down safely. By the time the team removes the second wing, it's late evening. Well, a bit late. We were a bit late on the prediction, but thanks to everybody, it's done. OK, lift your end. Ready? OK. They've lashed together a wooden cradle to protect the wings. Just something we come up with to secure the wings down to. It may look a little ugly, but it'll do the job. It'll do the trick. They'll need to be back early tomorrow morning to make their final checks before the big airlift.